Good morning, Scorpio gang, gang, gang. Hope all is well with you guys this morning. <clears throat> I really enjoyed mingling with y'all on that live last night. To my returning OG subscribers, what the fuck is up? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all. Thank you for allowing my channel to grow. To my members only community, I love you guys. Thanks for showing so much love. I appreciate it. I really do. Like I said, we're going to get some things going on over there. Um, I'm going to give them a little more time, members only, to join before we start over there. But if not, I'm going to go ahead with the few that I have, okay? As to I am a woman of my word. Let me get this energy going from last night. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Scorpio. Cross watchers, you are welcome. Any other signs that are cross watching, you're welcome as well. We get a lot of Sagittarius cross watchers, so that's why I say any other signs. Grab your coffee, your blunt, your H2O, whatever it is that allows you to tap in. One second. And we're going to get into this message. Y'all, I don't know what be going on. My camera be moving back down self sometimes. All right, where I want to go. Let's get some tea. I very seldom use these. Let's get some of this tea. See what's going on, Scorpio. See what y'all doing. I'm going to be going live tonight. <clears throat> Since it's Friday night, I know a lot of you guys work, so. And have your own businesses and. During the week, that might not be feasible, but, you know, we're going to vibe. We're going to play our little music, and we're going to do some, I think I'm going to do $25 quick reads, okay? That'll be a three-card spread. If I pull more cards, oh, well, whatever it takes to get the message, okay? But that's what we'll start with. I may do some two for 20 questions as well. We'll see. Just see how the vibe goes, how many people show up, okay? Spirit guys, angels, y'all know I got the white light going, just period. Show me what I need to see from my Scorpio. All right. So the first message I have is dog close up, pleasure with a close friend. Like I said, I know a lot of you Scorpios are going to be meeting new people, which that goes without saying. People are just drawn to our energy, so we meet people every day, but this is going to be a close friend or a close friend that turns into a lover, that turns into a husband type energy I'm getting. And then we have nest an emotionally secure, loving family. What does that say? Emotionally, an emotionally secure and loving family is important to you? Absolutely. And then we have Peacock, beware of great pride. Yeah, I warned y'all about that this week. And on the bottom it says, staff, you will be taken care of in, a, in difficult times. Absolutely. We know about that, don't we, Scorpio? Um, let's see something. I'm going to pull from this oracle. 
so family is very important to you. I feel like for a lot of you guys, y'all don't know what the reading was about yesterday because <laughs> obviously it got deleted for no damn reason. But the reading was about you guys meeting someone that was really enamored by you and meeting their family. And it's like their family fell in love with you more than they did almost. Like it was just a hands down, open arms, welcoming you in. I felt the energy was these people just love being in your presence, Scorpio. And one of the energies that, that came out of the deck was being around you is intoxicating. So I feel like that's what this is still piggybacking on. Like, y'all are going to be accepted into a community of people. Somebody who just loves being around you. Being around being around you is intoxicating to them. I felt led too to say in that video that the women of this family admire you greatly because you're able to speak your mind and they viewed you as like a like a free soul, some a, a independent woman strong and just living their life out loud and you know, whereas these women, I just felt like they've been trapped in these marriages with these guys and just not being able to be who they really are. And they see you every time they, you know, they see their uh, brother or whoever this is or sister. They're like, where's Scorpio? You didn't bring her? Come on. Every time you come, you need, we love her. We love talking to her. We love the energy of being around her. Y'all need to come on. Go call her and see if she want to come for dinner cookout or whatever these people just enjoy being around you just as much as whoever you're dealing with okay if that makes sense so the first card out is magic there is magic around you y'all hold on i'm about to get my glass caught this Alright, y'all, now the light's on. It says magic. There is magic around you, so expect excitement and joy. Yeah, just period. And service. Service with an open heart is a key to satisfaction. And Pegasus. Open your heart to love and joy. See, all these messages to me is are piggybacking on what we talked about all week long, right? Like, you have to open your heart up. The service that Scorpio gives to the broken, you have to do, you have to do this and know that it's key to your life and your abundance and what's, what God has for you and why you're always being saved and why God always throws you a lifeline. It's because of... How you heal broken people, just period. And then on the bottom of the deck, it has the Christ. Open the door to the kingdom of heaven. <sighs> Come on, I could just I could just stop right there. Open the door to the kingdom of heaven. Meaning continue to be that person that helps people heal. Continue to be that vessel. That's what that's talking about. All right, let's get into this energy and see see what we have showing up today. The soulmate, the karmic, the twin flame. What do we have? I mix my twin flame cards up with my soulmate and my um karmic cards. So let's see what comes out for Scorpio. Soulmate, two cards. I already popped out their soulmate cards. I'm telling you, this message, this soulmate message is for somebody and it keeps, it just keeps happening, it keeps giving. Alright. So the overall energy says, I am working on myself each day so I can come back to you or my complete, as my complete whole self. Come on, I can't make this shit up. Y'all know, y'all know that's exactly, that's exactly what I've been saying. That's exactly what I've been saying. This person has worked on themselves. 
This person has come full circle, so you giving up on somebody because of the past. But you you broke this horse. You broke this horse. You healed this person. You showed them. You showed them intricate instructions on how to get their life together. Even if your life wasn't together, Scorpio, we're able to look into other people's lives and tell what they need to do to get their shit together. And if you're a Phoenix rising Scorpio, you're able to do the same thing to yourself. This person has gotten their shit together. Don't miss out on this person with the bullshit. I'm telling you, you you you're gonna miss out on your happiness. Just period. I should have listened to my intuition. Yeah. I feel like a fool for losing you. Y'all better catch me in the spirit. Each day I think about how it would be like if we were together. One day I would be ready to surrender. I can't make this shit up. I can't make it up. And who am I talking to? For real, just like, because now it's almost like I just want to look in the camera and just talk specifically to you because... So we can get past these these messages right here and get on to something else like maybe a twin flame or maybe we could talk about a karmic. We just can't go nowhere because somebody not getting this shit. My message is starting to be rhetorical now because somebody in my flock is not getting this shit. Who ain't getting this? Who is continuing to make this about them still? You holding up somebody else's life with your selfishness, with your pride. That's what the cards say. Where is it? Some, one of these cards said that about your pride, Scorpio. The peacock. Beware of great pride. Let's clarify these cards. Take your heart and feelings out of it, Scorpio. That's all I got to say about that. And this is going to be the last message I do on this because, you know, I can't break it down no other way. And this time, you know, other people got shit they want to hear about their twin flame and, you know, what's going on in their life. I love you guys, but come on, we got to keep the messages just, you know, for everybody. This is a collective read for Scorpio. And I'm beginning to feel like every day I'm doing a personal reading for one person or a group of people who just don't, you know, they don't want to, they don't want to accept this for truth. Because they were hurt by this person. Spirit guys, angels, show me what I need to see for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, clarify these cards. I should have listened to my intuition. Clarify that. Verify that pal. The Seven of Swords. First card out. Under this person should have listened to their intuition. They were deceived. I don't feel like I feel like the deceptive energy was not them. I feel like the deceptive energy was whoever lured them away. Making them feel as though there was something better over this way. But I feel like they were they were ready to go because they weren't ready for this soulmate connection. Just period. People, we can't make people be ready to love on our time because you're in a different place in time. You have people who are more advanced in love. You have people that have been in different situations to the point where, you know, they're just not ready. But when you're getting spiritually guided and led and somebody telling you, you know, it's a million, it's a million and probably a billion fucking tarot card readers and messages on YouTube. Here you sit, this is your situation I'm talking about. And instead of you accepting it and moving forward in it, you, you, you're, you're letting your pride stand in the way of being in a healthy relationship now. No matter how fucked up it was back then, it'll be healthy now. Yeah, the ace of fire. 
And it's crazy because these same cars keep coming out in the reading, like, keep repeating itself. So that's Source trying to drive this home, but I'm trying to talk to Source and say, Source, we got other shit we want to talk about. So this is something somebody need to get. Somebody need to catch this in, this, in their spirit. You holding somebody's life up, Scorpio. They held your life up. They made your life a living hell. That's why you let them go. But they retained every single thing you told them and taught them. They put it to work. Now they're cured. And you don't want nothing to do with them. Their soul is trying to make a connection back to you and not to somebody else. But it looks like, you know, if that's what you that's what you want for your life, if you want to, you know, another set of problems and try to figure some more shit out, okay. But this is the last message on this. The two of cups. Soulmate energy. I can't make this shit up. I just don't know what else y'all want me to say. Just period. And then the four of air. You know, I feel like... See, the thing about prayer and manifestation is you have to be ready what you're asking God for. And it, it's not going to come packaged like you want it to come packaged sometimes. It's not going to come with a red bow on top. Sometimes it's going to be that same person that you sent the fuck down the road that you hated looking at every day after they got to that point. But once you once you took your hands off it, we talked about this the other day. Once you took your mouth and hands off it, God was able to deal with it. And who can better deal with anybody than God? He know everything about us. He knows shit about us we don't know yet. He know my future self. Who am I who am I talking to? Who am I pleading with here? This 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 ain't even a renewal under the bottom of the day. This ain't this shouldn't even be a preach session. This should be a hallelujah session. It's almost like somebody trying to give you a gift and you saying you don't want it, but it's just what you asked for. But because it's the person that's giving it to you, you refusing it. Fuck. If somebody was giving you a million dollars, would you give would you give a damn who was on the other end of it? It's that type of energy. You somebody trying to give you a gift and you don't want it because who on the other end of it? But you asked God for it. It just didn't come. With boo boo, the new one you with, cause it wasn't supposed to. I feel like a fool for losing you. Clarify this source. Oh, that white light flickering now, Scorpio. The incense burning fast and shit. Y'all just y'all got to get this. The first card out for that is strength. The second energy is the Knight of Cups. Yeah. I'm telling you, this person is so grateful to you, Scorpio. At the time when y'all was going through this shit, you was probably the, the monster of it all. For, for even speaking it out your mouth, right? But now, after this person done went through a little life and God done whipped their ass into shape, all they think about is you. These cards keep coming out repeating the same shit. How could they forget you? How could they forget all the things you said? How can they forget all the times you stood by their side? How can they forget your loyalty? And to me, I just feel like with you not even considering this, I feel like you're dem you're demeaning who you really are. Like you say out your mouth that you got the power to heal people and transform and rebirth, but really you're not giving yourself the credit of this by turning it away. Just period. This person want to propose the Knight of Cups. This person want to apologize. I'm talking about I just feel pure sovereignty. Like, they feel like you saved their life. Because I feel like whatever this is that you that you put instilled in them, Scorpio, it go deeper than just love. It picked them up out of a dark place. 
It allowed them to be able to look in the mirror and, 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 and love themselves first so that they're able to love somebody else. You were able to speak into their lives and they appreciate that shit. For real. Look, look at this, the Ace of Cups. I can't make it up. Why would I want to? I'm tired of saying the same shit. Clarify each day I think about how it would be like if we were together. One day I'll be ready to surrender. The first card, the night of earth. They ready to surrender now. They grounded now. That night of earth is telling me though they're not all the way there, but they want to finish this up with you. They, they need more counsel now. They gotten to the point of healing that you prescribed, Scorpio. Now they need another prescription from you. Now they need to feel that love and that loyalty and all that shit you was trying to give them when they was fucking off. Plus, they want to show you how much they've grown, how much they've matured. If I could make this shit up, the King of Cups and the Ten of Fire. This person has ended their burden. This person realized what was going wrong in their life and what was going right in their life. And the king of water, this person is emotionally invested in you, Scorpio, just period. They don't want nobody else. They don't want anybody else. The eight of air in reverse. They're not trapped in their mind anymore, in their mindset. They're coming towards you, Scorpio. It's up to you. It's no way in hell you don't have an encounter with this person. I don't care if they live halfway across the world. You're going to look at your fucking window or on your email or your social media. And this person is going to be contacting you. Just period. They can't help it. This is your soulmate. Are you fucking kidding me? The king of wands. I told you this person coming towards you. All the qualities that you liked it about this person that draw you to this person, just keep in mind this person has those have those attributes plus the medicine you gave them. What are you waiting on, Scorpio? I'm here in love of a lifetime. I'm here forever, ever after. Just period. The four earth on the bottom of the deck. If this person ever gets you back, they're not going to let you go. They're they not going to do shit that you're going to want to go. <sighs> the ace of swords, I'm speaking the truth. You got three aces down here. The ace of fire, the ace of cup, not the ace of swords. The bottom of the deck, the three of cups. Yeah, this person want to celebrate. This person want to show everybody in their life that they love you. This could be your community as well. This person's family is going to love you for how you change this person. And once they meet you, they're going to know why they change. Once they meet you, it's going to be just like, oh, okay. Like an epiphany. Oh, now I see what happened. Now I see why they, what example they had. And like I said, this family going to love you just as much as they do their child. Period. Like this person, this person's parents will be calling you Scorpio more than they calling them. That's what type of energy I'm getting. And I feel like this is a Scorpio who don't have a very good relationship with their family because they had to cut people off, whether it be family or not, to get their shit together, to get the damn spiritual vampires from around them. But you're going to get a new family, Scorpio. I'm telling you, this is, this is... Forever after, for real. This is fairy tale type love. From family and them, you finna inherit a whole nother family of love, a whole, a whole family of people just around you, admiring you for who you are. You you could be yourself, and they love every layer of it. When you get mad, when you get ugly, they love you.
the queen of, of um, wands. Y'all are just counterparted. In it, in it, y'all match. This is your match now. This was your match then. They just was not ready. So we got the king of fire, the queen of fire. We got the king of cups, the king of earth, and now we got the um, queen of earth. I can't make it up. And then the six of water. Like I said, this is somebody you dealt with in the past, in a past life. This keeps coming up too, the past life shit. I just, I mean, I don't... I don't know where else to go with this. Let's get an angel answer. Let's try to see what kind of time we have for you to be prideful and before you make your mind up. I'm telling you, this family needs you in it. That's that's what I'm hearing. Like this family needs somebody like you in their family. They need hope. You holding a lot of you holding a community of people up, Scorpio, with this shit. People, people have to know that it's something better for them to even for them to even believe that they can get out of the mess they in. They need to see it played out. This is visual, spiritual. Somebody needs some hope. Look at all these cards falling out. Yeah, choose a new direction. Swords, I swear I don't want to have to come back and talk about this message no more. Because these cards just, I mean, like I said in another video, it can't get no clear to me cracking your head open and sticking the cards down in it. Choose another direction. This ain't the direction. That prideful shit, that ain't it. Look at this. I'm going to crack your head open, Scorpio. Trust. Trust what source is telling you. Be happy. It's time to be happy. All the way around. You deserve it, Scorpio. Is something still going on with you that you feel like you don't deserve this? Maybe that's why. Because this person feel like they deserve you. Get more information. No, this is all the information. This is it right here. We, we wrapping this up, Scorpio. We can't keep going on this, this storyline right here. Because you don't want to get it because you being prideful. Because maybe you think you're not worth it. This says within the next few weeks you're going to hear from this person. Scorpio, you're worth it. This is for all the broken people you ever healed. This is for all the broken people you'll ever heal. This is for this is this is karma. This is God saying thank you for helping these people. Thank you for showing them in human form what it looked like. Thank you for taking 10 years out of your life. That's what I just heard, 10 years. Thank you for, for sticking with this person through thick and thin for 20 years. 15, 10, 5 I just heard. It didn't go unnoticed by the person or by God. Just period. This person is forever grateful and in your debt, Scorpio. You hear what these messages say? This person said what? Each day, each day I think about how it would be like if we were together. One day I would be ready to surrender. The overall message. I'm working on myself each day so I can come back to you as my complete whole self. Complete whole self. Complete whole self, Scorpio. I mean... Ain't no way else to say it. Chop it up. Do it. We done did it for, what, three last messages now? Scorpio. Beware of great pride. Scorpio. 
pleasure with a close friend and emotionally secure loving family is important to you. They waiting on you. They waiting on you. This person family waiting on you. Just like they are. You holding the whole family up at this point. All right, Scorpio, if you're still with me, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that join button. I'm going to start kicking some stuff off over there. I want y'all to be a part of it, okay? And let those ads play for 30 seconds so I can get full credit. I love you guys. You guys know that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.